In this video, you'll learn how to optimize your content for search engines and users using best practices. Content SEO is a subset of on-page SEO, and it's the process that will help you optimize your content so that it can potentially rank higher in search engines and attract more traffic. Before we continue, it's necessary to emphasize that the number one ranking factor is content quality. For a web page to rank high on Google, the content has to be relevant to the user query and satisfy the search intent. If these two conditions are not met, it's impossible to rank, with or without SEO. SEO can only help good content rise to the surface. Now, let's see some very powerful techniques for making your content better for users and friendlier to search engines. The first is to make sure that your content satisfies the search intent. Before publishing any type of content on your website, you need to understand what type of content users want to see for a given search query. In general, the search intent can be categorized into four types. Informational, Navigational, Transactional, and Commercial. The easiest way to find out what type of content to create is to take advantage of Google because they already did a great job in understanding what users like for different searches. So, the first step is to go to Google and search for your target keywords. Navigate and carefully examine the top 10 results. Take note of things like the type of content, level of detail, how they use images and video, and page design. Your goal is to use this information to build better content. Better in this context means a number of things, like more thorough and informative, easier to read, and possibly presenting a different view of the subject that is not already covered by the existing content. The second technique is to mention your main keyword at the beginning of your content. Everybody knows that your main keyword should appear in your title and H1 heading, but what is equally important is to mention your keyword once or twice in the first couple of paragraphs. The third technique is to use subheadings to break content into smaller sections. This makes the content easier to scan by search engines and users. The fourth technique is to use variations of your main keyword in the subheadings and content. When you are targeting a specific keyword, you don't just repeat that over and over again, but you should use variations of that keyword in your content. Next, you should pay special attention to the content formatting. Make your content easy to read. Don't just throw text on a page, but apply formatting styles to make reading easier, especially for users who like to skim read. Use short paragraphs. Use bold and italics to highlight parts of the content that matter. Use a font that is easy to read and large enough on all devices. Add enough white spacing between your paragraphs. Also, don't forget that content can have many forms and is not necessarily text. When adding other non-text elements in your content, like images and videos, make sure that they are also optimized. The next technique is to make your content thorough and informative. Although word count is not a Google ranking factor, several studies indicate that long-form content performs better in search and social media networks. While this is true, it does not mean that you should write thousands of words for the sake of getting to a word limit. The quality of the content is always more important than quantity. If what you write is what users want, it will attract shares and links and eventually rank high in the SERPs, even if there are other posts that are longer in length. Google guidelines on content state that content should be factually accurate, clearly written, and comprehensive. Now, Let's see another technique that will help you rank your content on the first position of Google. This is known in SEO as Featured Snippet Optimization. We'll start with the most popular type, which is optimizing your how-to and list posts. Google loves to show lists in its search results. Search for any query that is related to how-to or list type of post, and notice how the Google Featured Snippet is adapted to show lists. Here's an example. What is nice about this is that there is a way to get your list to show as a featured snippet and dramatically increase your click-through rate. 
follow these steps. Make sure that you place your list high in your post. It doesn't have to be at the very top, but try not to bury the list in the content. Add an optimized H2 or H3 heading as the list title. Make it specific. If the list is about SEO tips, then name the list Best SEO Tips or something related, but keep it short and to the point. Make sure that each list item is an H2 or H3. Keep the list item titles short and specific. Use UL and LI tags for the list items. Don't use tables or paragraphs, but use the UL HTML tag to help Google crawlers understand that it's a list. When you follow the above steps and provided that your page already appears on the first page of Google for a specific query, you'll have more chances of appearing on the first position of the results as a featured snippet. If you want to take it a step further, make sure that you create named sections within your list by adding the ID attribute to a list item like this. This makes the particular named section accessible directly through the post URL, and Google picks that up and enriches the presentation of your snippet with post site links as shown in the example. Another very easy technique is to optimize your content for the direct answers box. When you type a question in Google, you'll notice that sometimes it gives you a direct answer with a link to learn more. To increase your chances of getting picked up, you need to target question-based keywords, summarize the answer of a question or query in one paragraph, place the paragraph at the beginning of the content and above the fold, Look at the example on the right. In my post, I targeted the question, is SEO hard to learn? And I gave a direct answer in the opening paragraph. In the rest of the content, I have explained the reasoning. A good way to find questions to answer is to look at the People Also Ask section of the search results. Questions listed there are great candidates for the direct answers box. Last but not least, Let's look at rich snippets. Rich snippets are an enhanced version of a normal search snippet that usually includes graphical elements like images, review stars, and other visual enhancements. Search for any recipe on Google and you'll see rich snippets in action. The process of getting a rich snippet is a bit technical and you may need the help of a developer, but it's definitely worth it because websites appearing as rich snippets get more clicks and traffic. In summary, the steps are Step 1. Choose the right schema. There are a number of Google-supported schemas covering a range of content types, including articles, recipes, reviews, local businesses, and many more. Step 2. Write your script. For each schema type, Google provides guidelines as to what to include in your script. Study the guidelines. Write your structured data markup and add it to your website. Step 3. Test your implementation. Use Google's Rich Snippet Test Tool to test that there are no errors in your script. Step 4. Use Google Search Console reports to monitor the performance of your rich snippets.